Bridget and I'm a senior nutrition scientist at the British Nutrition Foundation. In this podcast, I'm going to talk about carbohydrate and why it's an important nutrient for our bodies. I'm also going to be talking to a chef about putting this nutrition theory into practice when cooking meals. Food provides a range of different nutrients. Carbohydrate, which is a macronutrient, is the main source of energy for the body. One gram of carbohydrate provides 16 kilojoules. As you can see from this graph, gram per gram, carbohydrate provides the least amount of energy of the macronutrients. There are two main types of carbohydrate in the diet that provide energy, starch and sugars. We can find carbohydrate as starch in foods such as bread, rice, potatoes, pasta, cereals and cereal products and starchy vegetables such as yams or cassava. The UK's healthy eating model, the Eat Well Plate, recommends that about a third of our diet should be made up of foods high in starchy carbohydrate and smaller amounts of foods and drinks high in sugar. The Food Standards Agency's eight tips for eating well also recommend that we base our meals on starchy foods and eat less sugar. Eating starchy carbohydrate is important for energy and these foods are also likely to be higher in dietary fibre and B vitamins. B vitamins release the energy from food we eat and help the body to work properly. Sugars are found in table sugar, fruit, milk and milk products, jam and confectionery. Having sugary foods frequently in between meals can increase your risk of dental caries. Just having sugar containing foods and drinks at meal times can help you to consume sugar less often and can also reduce your risk of dental caries. Also, regular toothbrushing and the use of dental floss will reduce the risk of dental caries too. So Nabil, when you're thinking about planning a meal, where do you begin? Well, Bridget, the best place to start is to create a starchy food and um, create a meal around it, isn't it? Well, for today I have four examples of how to include starchy food. Porridge is a great warm and winter breakfast and whole oats with fresh fruit and yogurts make a great start to a summer day. Well, if the porridge is not your things, then we could try a hash brown in the morning uh, for a weekend treat. Often they are deep fried, but the healthier options is to use it to bake them in the oven. You can just peel and grate two medium-sized potato, and using one beaten egg, add in herbs and spices for flavor. Make a mix that you shape into patties and bake on crisp paper in a medium heat in the oven for about 20 minutes. Yes, for a healthy breakfast, you could try to have to having these with uh, poached eggs and baked beans. This is a great idea because it gives you a tasty addition to a cooked breakfast without adding too much extra fat. Pasta is uh, an easy uh, starchy food to cook with and there are so many varieties. I've got some in different shapes and colours. These have had vegetables added to create the colour and subtle flavour change. I start with my starchy food, then I added some vegetables and spices to create great flavours. I've chosen whole grain pasta. Does it just increase the dietary fibre content? That's right, Nabil. Whole grain foods usually contain more dietary fibre than white or refined starchy foods. Dietary fibre is very important to keep our gut healthy and to reduce the risk of constipation. Fibre rich foods are often recommended in weight reducing diets. They contain less energy, gram for gram, than foods with a higher fat content. We also digest whole grain foods more slowly so that it can help us feel fuller for longer. Are there similar starchy foods we could also use? You could try the burger we eat and there are all sorts of different types of rice you could use, for example the arborio rice. Couscous provides a lot of starchy carbohydrate and can be served with a stew for dinner or you could use it to make a salad for lunch. I've heard that carbohydrate is fattening, is that true? No, this is not true. Eating too much of anything can be fattening, but gram for gram carbohydrate has the least amount of energy. So we know that carbohydrate is an important nutrient that provides energy in our body and because of this we should base our meals on starchy foods. Nabil, do you have any more ideas on how we could do this? You could go for whole grain breakfast, cereals or mix some in your favourite cereal. Opt for naan bread or chapatis and boiled or steamed rice with curry. Make mashed potato creamy 
with a bit of milk instead of butter and add beans or lentils to the casserole, stew and carrots. These sweets also pump up to the fiber content. Try different breads such as seeded, wholemeal and granary. Make thick base pizza with plenty of vegetable topping and or lower fat cheeses. Cut chips or potato wedges. This will absorb less oil than thin cut chips and can be baked instead of fried. Try brown rice, it makes a very tasty salad. Thanks Nabil for your help today and thanks for watching. For more information about carbohydrate or any of the other nutrients, go to our website nutrition.org.uk or to foodeffectiflife.org.uk. Bye for now.